Hello po sa lahat ng viewers natin dyan. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. So for this day po, magdadagdag tayo ng example in solving volumes using integration. So here we have the area bounded by x squared is equivalent to 8y. The lines x is equivalent to 8 and y is equivalent to 0. It revolves about the line x is equivalent to 16. So we are tasked to compute the volume that will be generated by doing this. So, okay, so i graph po muna natin yung mga simple natin na mga lines. So here we have our x and y axis. And then we have here x is equivalent to 8. So 1, 2, 3, up to 8. Ayan po yung line natin. Lagyan natin ng label x is equivalent to 8. So how about this one? y is equivalent to 0. So therefore, that is our x axis. So next thing is yung ating line or axis of revolution, which is x is equivalent to 16. Ayan po. Yan yung 16. Lagyan natin ng, ng label. x is equivalent to 16. So therefore, yung area na makukuha natin, dito natin siya papaikutin sa x is equivalent to 16. So next thing is, i-graph po natin yung uh, ano yung figure no ng x squared is equivalent to 8y. So in order for us to do that, uh, ilagay muna natin yung ating mga equations. First one is we have x squared is equivalent to 8y. That is our first equation. Second equation would be x is equivalent to 8. And then our third equation would be y is equivalent to 0. Ayan po. So in order for us to know the intersection between this parabola and this lines, ang gagawin natin is to substitute our equation number 2 to equation number 1. And then, substitute equation number 3 to equation number 1. So, lagyan natin dito, substitute equation number 2 to equation number 1. So, therefore, this would be 8 squared is equivalent to 8y. Diba? So, simplify lang natin, cancel out, cancel out. This would be y is equivalent to 8. So, therefore, the intersection is at the point 8. Ayan po. So, how about our third equation and our first equation? So, ilagay natin dito, substitute equation number 3 to equation number 1. So, therefore, ilagay natin x squared is equivalent to 8 multiplied by 0. With that, no, obviously, yung x natin would be 0. So, therefore, the intersection between our um, equation number 3 and equation number 1 is the origin itself. Okay? So we have discussed sa mga other videos natin that x squared is equivalent to 8y is a parabola that opens upward. And as you can see, wala tayong plus something-something dito. So therefore, yung kanyang dulo is nasa ating origin. ba? So follow natin to. First point nila is 8, 8. So lagay natin dito 8 and another 8. So in that point, mag-intersect sila. And how about 1 or yung equation number 1 and equation number 3 sa origin? Ayan po, sa origin. So therefore, i-drawing natin yung ating parabola that opens upward. Ayan siya. Okay? So lagay lang po natin dito para mamaya, no? Lagay natin ng 8, 0. Okay? So therefore, sabi kanina na, we need to revolve the area bounded by these three graphs sa ating line which is x is equivalent to 16. So, lagyan natin ng arrow na ipapa-revolve natin siya saan. ba? Okay? So, it is now our time to decide if anong gagamitin natin. Yung horizontal strip ba or vertical strip? Para sa akin, mas maganda if ang gagamitin natin is vertical strip para saktong-sakto sa ating distance papunta sa ating x is equivalent to 16. So, therefore, lagyan natin ng labels y and this is our dx. Papangalanan po natin yung ating first graph that is y u or y up. And therefore, yung nasa baba, this would be our y d or y down. Okay? So as you can see, obviously that is equivalent to zero. So ayan po, we have our y sub u which is coming from our parabola papunta sa ating x-axis. And then we need the measurement of the distance of this strip papunta po sa ating axis of rotation and that is our x sub c. 
So take note class, hindi po siya yung y-axis. So hindi po yan pwede na yan yung gagamitin mo as x. So therefore, we need to solve that one mamaya po. Okay? So kasi, ito po yung x natin. Diba? So therefore, this one, ilalagay lang po natin para sa ating computation mamaya. This would be our 16. Diba? This, uh, this distance is 16. Okay? I think we can proceed in solving the volume of this one by deriving our own formula. Diba? So, katayo po yung gagawa ng sarili nating formula that is equivalent to the area of the strip that is equivalent to y times dx. And then, gagamitan natin ng integration para mag-summation yung strip natin from lower limit to upper limit. So, as you can see, we are dealing with dx. So, therefore, yung x yung gagamitin natin, 0. And then, yung ating upper limit, which is going to the right, yung x natin is 8. Ayan, lagay natin po. And then, uh, this area is or must be revolved sa ating x is equivalent to 16 na graph. So therefore, that is multiplied by 2 pi. And then, multiplied natin ng ating distance, di ba? Ng ating strip or representative strip papunta sa ating axis of rotation. So x multiplied by 6. Okay, so continue lang po natin. We must define ano yung y dito tsaka yung x sub c natin. So therefore, that is equivalent to 2 pi, then integration of 0 to 8, then yung y natin. As you can see, y po natin is y sub up minus y sub down. Diba? Obviously, 0 siya. Pero sige lang, isusulat po muna natin. y u minus y t. And then, itong x sub c natin. Take note class, ang x sub c natin is not the x itself. Kasi hindi siya papunta sa ating y-axis. So therefore, we must sol solve our x sub c in terms of our x and this 16. Diba? So as you can see po, yung 16, if mag-minus po tayo, diba, ng x, ayan po siya, makukuha natin si x sub c. So therefore, we can conclude that our x sub c is just 16 minus x. Ayan. So, lagyan natin dx. Yan po. So, cancel out natin to magiging 0 kasi 0 siya. And then, expand natin or substitute po natin yung value ng ating y sub u or y sub up. So, as you, you can see kanina, di ba? Our parabola, yan po yung y sub up natin. So, therefore, ito po siya. y sub u. Okay, so therefore, lipat lang natin to the other side. This would become x squared divided by 8. That is our y sub u. Okay, so I think we're ready. Diba? So substitute na natin siya sa ating equation. 2 pi integration 0 to 8. Y sub u natin would be x squared over 8. Multiplied by 16 minus x. And then dx. Ayan, malapit na tayong matapos. We need to rewrite this one and then integrate. Diba? Because this is a definite integral and therefore we can get our volume. Okay? So simplify lang po natin class. This would become 2 pi. Ilabas lang po natin yung ating constant. Magiging 2 pi divided by 8. Then integration of 0 to 8. Next thing is, I-distribute lang po natin magiging 16 multiplied by x squared minus x squared multiplied by x squared or shall I say x, that is x cubed. Diba? So, lagyan natin yan ng dx. Ayan po. So, I think we're ready in integrating this one. We will be using our power rule, di ba? So, sulat natin yung formula ni power rule that is integration of x to the power of n is equivalent to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. So, therefore, sulat lang natin yung constant 2 pi over 8. And then, we have our open parenthesis. Tapos, ito po. So, sulat natin si 16. That is our constant. So, x squared. As you can see, yung ating n is 2, so therefore, n natin yan, di ba? Plus 1 tayo, so that would become x cubed divided by 3. No? So the same lang siya, yung nasa itaas, same lang nasa ibaba. 
Okay, so how about this one? Minus x cubed. So therefore, yung n natin would be 3. Plus 1 po tayo. So therefore, 4. Same lang po sa ilalim. 3 plus 1 is 4. Ayan. So lagyan natin ng lower limit, which is 0. And upper limit, which is 8. Okay? So last thing na gagawin natin is to substitute our upper limit minus po ng substitution ng ating lower limit. So therefore, lagay natin 2 pi divided by 8. Then open parenthesis, another open parenthesis, 16 multiplied by 8 cubed over 3, then minus um, 8, 4 divided by 4. Ayan po siya. And close parenthesis. And then, for this next one, lagay natin minus uh, open parenthesis, 16 multiplied by 0 cubed divided by 3 minus 0 to the power of 4 over 4. Ayan po siya. So obviously, class, this is 0. So okay lang. Diba? For the sake of our solution, para kompleto talaga. Diba? So that is equivalent to... So here, we have our calculator. We need to input this one para meron na tayong answer. So that would become 2 pi divided by 8, open parenthesis, uh, 16, 8 to the power of 3, divided by 3, minus 8 to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus ito po na side, no? So, sabi ko kanina, obvious na po yan, sir, na 0. Sige lang, no? For the sake of the solution, ilalagay lang po natin siya no? para sure talaga, di ba? So, minus 0 to the power of 4 divided by 4. So therefore, the volume of this graph na papaikuti natin sa x is equivalent to 16 is equivalent to 1,340.413. So ayan po, sulat natin yung ating answer. That is 1,340.413 cubic units. Ayan po. So I think that concludes our video. I hope that you have learned something from it. So lagi lang po nating tatandaan that formulas can be forgotten, but the concept itself remains forever. Thank you and see you to our next video.